Yeah, hi, this is Rob from Tesla Owners US and I decided to exchange the chip on the Tega card and we are expecting JJ, I know him since a long time, he is a Tesla, he was a Tesla technician, has a lot of experience and it is important for me to exchange this card because I don't want to get stuck on the road. And then it's like this, it's getting dark on the MCU. And I want to avoid that before I get stuck there. And this part will be two sections. I think the whole deinstallation video took 45 minutes. And uh, I will bring that in two parts. And you will see it now. Okay guys, we have JJ here with all of his tools and equipment and he's ready to go and we're going to put the windows down first so that we can access the car, it's always important okay, because if the battery is down and we disconnect the battery, we have to get back to the car yep. in case of an emergency. And then we're going to take this guy here, this big screen, MCU called and we're gonna take it apart. So, and we're gonna take that Tegra card out of that MCU. Yeah, that fits good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna close that it doesn't get so warm in here. Is it good? Uh, close the garage? Yeah? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, you can leave it open. It closes without any harm. So otherwise it gets too warm in the garage here. So now you have to tell me why did you open it from there? Did you access uh, it better? Well, because it takes power to open it. And uh, we're going to take the turbo battery off. So the turbo battery off, uh, yeah. And when we get that out, we'll come back here and disassemble Yeah, okay. First, so this piece. Side panel. Next is this guy. And then this upper panel. We move that as well. And then probably the filters. Yeah, air filter is that. Uh, we're gonna pop the windshield cowl up, uh, clip here, and should be one there. It's missing. But yeah. It's okay. Uh, pocket screwdriver. Ah, these are the little tiny clips there. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, they are from time to time missing. Huh. Right. Everyone's alive. So JJ was my favorite, or still is my favorite technician for Tesla. <laughs> you would not believe that I always asked for you, <laughs> JJ. They not always gave me you, but they always asked for you. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so I know JJ for a long time, uh, for maybe 10 years or so. Mm -hmm. And I met him the first time here in the, in the pep store. And Pet uh, Boys. Pet Boys, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, this right here is our negative, uh, negative side of the total battery. Yeah, that uh, would, you, but that's what you have to disconnect the negative, right? Correct. Uh, and then this right here is our first responder loop. First responder loop will disable high voltage battery. Uh, also disables the airbag system. Yeah. Not entirely necessary for us today, but we want to disable the car. So yeah. Uh, so we're going to close this door so the car shuts down. We don't want to take that off while we're pulling that amount of energy out of the battery. Well, or should I shut down the car? Okay. You can stop shut down the car. I can shut down the car as well, or what? Uh, you can, but with the window down, we can open the door manually from the inside. Ah, oh, okay. So. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as the AC compressor and the fan kicks off. Now I'll get, get some lights here. Hi guys. Yeah, okay. So now it's winding down. There it goes. Okay, now, now car shuts off, right? Now car shuts off. Okay, uh, pocket screwdriver. Uh, that's our pocket screwdriver again. Goes into this little tab here. 
shine some light on the situation. Yes. <clears throat> this little tab here. We're just gonna pop that up. That slides over. Oh, yeah, I got it. Contactor pop in the back of the car. Yeah. Ten millimeter guy here. Pull that off. You know that is uh, the lithium ion battery. Yep. For a lithium iron phosphate. You know I I got tired of changing the battery every year. Yeah. That one works pretty well though. Yeah. Okay, 12 volt disconnected. So now the computer or the MCU has no power anymore, right? Okay. Uh, our tools that we're gonna need. Yeah. To get the MCU out, we need a T20 and a T25. And in long range, yeah? Uh, I like. use longer ones, I think they're easier to yeah. get to everything. Uh, and then a panel popper of some sort. Yeah. And that should really be everything we need. T20 is going to be for all the dashboard screws, uh, T25 will be for the four around. The MCU. Oh, that's a torque, yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, torque spits. Uh, what might I need a screwdriver? Oh, can you open for me for the back and then I go in the back? Yeah. <coughs> Do you need that? Uh, so that the window shore drops. So you're going to catch it on your front. So if you want to open that door. Yeah. And then go ahead and roll that window down too. Okay. Okay, cool. Good. Nice LED light. So. Uh, there's a cover up here uh, above the dashboard. Uh, we're going to pop that guy out. That'll be the first thing to come off. You know all the, every step there. Yeah. Probably you, how many times you do it? Just <laughs> 20 times uh, or a lot, more? A lot. Yeah, a <laughs> lot more than 20 times. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to hook the 12 volt back up. We need to bring your steering wheel down and out. Um, oh, okay, good. You need to get to that's this. That's all we're going to need power for Yeah. right now. I'm trying to remember. It's been almost a year since I had to do this. No, I'm, I'm going to use power to, to move it down. Oh, okay. My camera was. Mm -hmm. Ah, he's starting up. Okay. No, they said the service light. Yeah, uh. service is required. It's because the that first responder loop is. Uh, uh, okay. And yeah, now the system starts up again. We there shut we it down. Go. So you, sh you put it all the way down and all the way back so that yeah. you have an easier access, right? Yeah, because this trim is going to have to come off. So, so and then we just shut it down again. Mm -hmm. you know, this piece is going to be nerve wracking. Yeah? Yeah. Then shut it down again. 
power and safety power off power off <laughs> what is it complaining yeah and the battery pull Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know where you want to put the camera for this guy, but there is a T20 screw underneath here. Yeah, you know what? Right there. If you want, take the camera and just put it, put it there. If you can see it. Yes. I have. I hold the light in the distance. Do you see that screw? There you go. Yeah, that like guy right there. Yeah, okay. So that screw you're gonna remove. Yeah? Yep. Okay. And that's a talk 20 also? Mm -hmm. Yep, everything we're about to use is a TARC 20. Okay, uh, with this door open just a little bit. Yeah, you can. Perfect. This side panel. Um, I'll show you how to take it off on this side. Because it's pretty much the same. But we get a screwdriver right inside the groove. And pop that side panel out. Uh-huh. That is your key antenna. Ah, oh, good. You guys know now where the key antenna is in the is in that side panel. Yep. Okay. Now this panel has to come off. Uh, there's probably I don't know, 15, 18 clips on it that are uh, pretty hefty little clips. And they are sounding worse, right? <laughs> they, they sound bad when this panel has to come off. Yeah. Um, so I usually start right here at this corner. It's a little bit easier to get underneath that, and then uh, the panel should hold back for us. Yeah. So what we're gonna do? It sounds worse like right it here is. Underneath it. Yeah. And do that. Four clips on this side. Not nearly as difficult. Uh, we can put it all in the Panel's trunk. Off. So. Yeah, there's four, one, two, three, four, five, so nine clips. We, we got all the left. clips, yeah. <laughs> That's alright. Okay. That one's out. <clears throat> and in the trunk. Go in the trunk. Now the other side? Or? Yeah, same thing on this side. Um, I like to start in the same spot right there on that corner. But do you have to loosen that uh, on the side, on the right side, uh, this little thingy? Uh, not on this one. Okay, good. Nope. Mm -hmm. nope. Just like that. Okay. That's how the installation works. Oh, mm -hmm. Give it to me. I'm going to pass it back. Yeah, in the back. I can put it here in the trunk from here. All right, so um, on some builds, uh, there's a silver screw right here on the uh, top corner of your dash pad. Yeah. Uh, and that holds the this outer edge down. Yeah. Um, you do not have one on this car. Uh, because uh, one of it, the first yeah, ones ever, right? They started it uh, slightly later production. So, um, but yeah, not, not too bad on that guy. Um, this pan needs to come out, which means these three screws need to come out. Um, That's the torque wrench. I used to pull the glove box all the way out until I learned that, that was just not Too entirely necessary. Too much work. Yeah. Well, at this point, I would need power again to open the glove box to get to the lower three. Yeah. But I learned that if you just pull those three, you can pull this back 
and that drops down far enough to actually give you access the to the you need to get this guy off. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, super easy on that front. Um, you can use uh, like a small uh, ratcheting screwdriver or something like that. There are two torque screws right here, one here and one here. Um, they're usually fairly simple to take out by hand because they just go in plastic. So, yeah. They should come right out. And that is just going to loosen up this front edge of the dash so that we can pop it up. Alright, uh, this part. Um, we're likely to bend this aluminum trim right there and right there. Yeah. Uh, when we go back in, I'll show you how to take care of that. Okay. Um, but that's probably going to happen. So. Uh, what I do is kind of brace myself against your vents here and then thumbs on the bottom side of the dash and we're just going to pop it up. Uh, and we'll do the same thing on this side. Lifts all up. Yep. Just need to pop it up a little bit. You can see those two screws right there. Those are the two we need to get access to. Yeah. And then one here and one here. Okay. Those are the big guys. Time for panel popper. Um, behind this panel, before we do that, T20 back. Underneath the dash, there is a screw here on top of this vent. Yeah. And I always have a magnet. Oh, that's good. Uh, you don't want to have that dropped in your car. <laughs> no, it'll make lots and lots of noise. The same thing on top of this vent. So every vent has a little screw. Every to vent hold has it. a little screw up on top. So uh, vent panel should be loose. Um, it's got a few clips on this side. These ones are considerably easier to get out, but there's one here and two here uh, that make this panel mildly difficult. So what I do, panel popper, go right up underneath it, get to right about the middle of that panel, and you're just gonna pop. Oh, mm, good. And then this clip should come off. Fairly simple here. There we go. Now we got the purple panel. Uh -huh. Now we know that they painted it all the way. Yep. <laughs> From the all factory. The Martina's purple. Okay. That's the one I was worried about, and it came out without an issue. That's good. And what I'm going to do, I put it back in the trunk. Oops. Up to here. That is good. Because that's the most. This is your boss's signature. <laughs> yeah. Old boss. Old boss's, Old boss's signature, yeah. Okay. Um, on this side, we need to remove this trim in order to get this vent out. Uh, this trim has four screws on it two on top, two on bottom. Um, we got to pull this steering wheel trim, which is one of the reasons I like to bring it all the way down and all the way out. Yeah. So uh, take your panel popper, go right behind that plastic, pop that guy off. Same thing on the other side, pop that guy off. Oh. And then we can just take that down. So then that you can see the screws there yeah. behind. We got that screw there, that yeah. screw there, one up top here, Yeah. and one up top here. So come in here very carefully. This aluminum trim scratches really super easy. This would probably be easier with a shorter bit. Did not bring the shorter bits with me today. I do have some uh, torque, torque big, big bits if you need one. Okay. We should be all right. Uh, here we go. It's easier to get to the access the, uh, the model the model three screen. <laughs> right. Model three screen is uh, one panel, two screws, and two connectors, and it all comes out. Wow. But that's also just the screen. They separated the screen and the car computer. Yeah. 
car computer has coolant running through it on Model 3. So this has this little alignment dowel right here that likes to hang on. Uh, so besides those four screws, there's nothing that actually attaches this. You just kind of have to work it off that little alignment pin. Ah, oh, there's an alignment pin there. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, there's two of them. This one has an elongated hole though, so it yeah. doesn't actually hold on. This one fits pretty tight around that pin. Yeah. Uh, so it'll it'll hold that bottom corner on. But yeah, besides those four screws, nothing else special in that. Okay, guy. cool. Next goes in the trunk. Okay, uh, next will be this screw here. Again, probably a little bit easier with a short thing, but that's okay. We can still get it. it as long as we're careful. Pick the dashboard up, get that screw get to the on top, top of that. For the vent, is that right? Yep. And all of these screws are the same, so you can keep them all together. Oh, Just good. everything in the cup holder. Um, same thing as the other side. We're going to use panel popper. Yeah. Um, again, same thing here also. We had a clip here and two clips here. Makes this vent a little difficult to get off. So we pull out on it just a little bit. Get it right there, center on the back, and push. And they went a piece of paper. And they went a piece of paper there. Yeah, look like a, a <laughs> That's funny. Label. Yep, that is a parts label. Parts slip number. Uh huh. That's right there. 201 B. Part number, yeah? Yeah. For that part, probably. Yeah. Okay. I could have laser edged it to it. <laughs> right. Yeah. It was one of the first ones ever. Yeah, because I don't even see another part number on there. Hmm. Okay. This is the vent part number. Oh. Okay. Alright. Uh, back to the trunk. Now that looks better. Yep, uh, now we're pretty much ready to pull the screen. Um, four T25 screws. We've got one guy here. Yeah, on the right lower. Yeah, one guy. Uh, left here. lower. These you want to be careful with because you don't want your bit to touch the bottom side of your trim here. So because then it scratches again, yeah. right? Just make sure you give yourself enough space to get this. That one there. And that one. And the magnet. And the magnet. This is one of my favorite sayings, this screwdriver is the best tool on the truck and the only one you get for free. <laughs> it makes life very easy. Okay, uh, screen's ready to come out. Um, this part can be a little bit precarious. Um, Which one? The this next step. The screen. Oh, yes. That was the end of part one. And within a couple of days, I will follow on part two to do uh, to see a complete deinstallation of that MCU and on the Tega card. You just have not now. You have to find someone who is taking that chip out of the board and replacing it with a new, better, and bigger chip. And this is I showed that before in one of my other videos. I have one contact here. Uh, there are other companies doing that as well. So if you don't know, you can also write in the comments there and I can help you with that. So, so see you next time for part two soon. I